Hey everybody, this is Josh. I'm here with Andre Hengshua or Gretorp. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing fantastic. It's the final day, so and you know it's worked up very nicely. So looking mm -hmm. forward to it today. Remind us again who's in the grand finals oh, today. Oh well, it, we have for the grand finals. Well, actually, the third and fourth place. I'll say first, we have okay. Sen and Jalizer going into that, mm -hmm. and then for the finals, we have of course MC against Puma. That's going to be a fantastic match. And the winner of MC Puma will get fifty grand. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of a big deal. It's a lot of esports dollars. Yeah, and I believe it's twenty-five grand for second. Yeah. So MC and Puma already like, hey, already They're made bank. Money, man. Let's play some They're more games. Money. Double or nothing? No, actually, double or twenty-five grand. Well, I think, dude, it's crazy it's because Puma came up from the open yeah. market. You know, so you have this fantastic player that wasn't even the regular season that has already made it the second place. Or first place. Um, well, yeah, potentially yeah. first place. Potentially first place. I'm sure everybody's favoring MC because he's just a, a mammoth in this entire scene. I do have 10 bucks on MC. I don't think it's a surprise <laughs> to my YouTube viewers. I am an MC fan. I just love all of his mannerisms. Yeah, said, and dude, him against Sen yesterday was probably some of the best gameplay I've ever seen before in my life. It was really it was awesome. an amazing series there for Sen versus MC, and I'm, I'm glad I got to watch all of that. Yeah. But uh, you... You've been casting a lot a this weekend. Yeah, a little bit. How's, how's that going for you? It's going great. Yeah? Uh, I love doing it. Casting has been a great experience in my life. I, I really am going to pursue that as much as possible. Okay. And, of course, you're going to see me in season two. Season two? When's that begin? Season two begins, uh, I don't know when it airs. Like next week? But, yeah, it's yeah. going to start next week. Very soon. Do you know how many Koreans are in season two? I do not. It's a lot. It's, it is a lot. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lot. Probably around. Well, I know a couple got knocked out. Mm -hmm. I heard like all mind. of OGS Rainbow, qualified and a lot qualified. Man, mm -hmm. I think it's around maybe 18 Koreans, maybe less. That's quite a few. Maybe less, but yeah. I think Chef, it's around there. Chef and Rhett both got back in and let me know that uh, Koreans they're they're. Starting Apparently to, they're pretty good. Yeah, starting Apparently to get pretty, uh, pretty good at the game. <laughs> Red and, and Sheth are pretty uh, shaken in their boots, Yeah, let's say. But um, <laughs> who knows what we'll see by the NASL 2 Grand Finals, which should also be great. So you've obviously been casting this all season long. Mm -hmm. This is the live event. This is the finale. Yeah. Does it sort of capture the season as a whole? How do you feel the event is going? The event's gone fantastic. Of course, there are always things that we wish went better, mm -hmm. you know, but it wouldn't be a live event without some sort of technical difficulties. That's true. The great thing about it is that um, NASL, just everybody here, not only the fans uh, have been so supportive, but, you know, the, the, the entire cast of NASL has been so supportive uh, for this to go better. So we've worked tirelessly to make this as good of a product as we possibly can. And I think it really shows Everybody is so happy. Yesterday was just off the hook. People were going crazy. Great games, great players, great everything. That's I, true. I really think that it it's one of the best things that to happen in my life. I like that it's StarCraft 2 only. Yeah. That you're guaranteed anywhere you sit in the audience, if you turn left or turn yeah. right, the people next to you love what they're seeing. They, you know what's awesome? they love StarCraft. We, you know what? Yesterday we had people that were like sitting on the floor, standing, whatever it might be. All the chairs were packed. So what my uh, my boss did, he he scrambled and he went out, asked the convention center if they had any more chairs. He got like, I think like a hundred plus plus more chairs. Now it fits over a thousand people. So, Excellent. I mean, it's freaking awesome. Like little things like that. We really, really are so committed to uh, to just everybody here. They're so supportive. I love them all. Yeah, and the players are having a good time too. Yeah. Talked to both Rhett and Chef already. They said the. The entire tournament is very player friendly, very uh, centered about you know getting them all the information that they need. They provided them with cell phones so they could go hang out after a match and not be like worried always checking their watch that they're going to be missing a match or something like that. And they they really appreciate that. So um, as a player, or are you a player or a caster now? What, what's uh, your what's I'm your division? Say I'm a caster right now. You're a caster. I am a caster right now. What about I'm player grits? I'm an enthusiast of playing. Okay. <laughs> are you going um, to be going to MLG? I'm going to the MLG. Unfortunately, though, uh, my brother. Well, not unfortunately, but my brother booked a flight to Las Vegas that weekend. Okay. For Evo. I see. So he said, Andre, if you can get out there, please do. And you know, he came all the way over here for me. I'm going to go at least to Vegas for him. So I am going to be there Thursday to Saturday. And okay. I'm, I will be there Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So. Gotcha. So are you going to be I competing be or hanging out? I can't play because I'm missing Friday. Gotcha. But I'll be, I'll be hanging out 
being a spectator the first time in MLG, it'd be a really nice experience. Yeah, it should be a nice change of pace. Yeah. Like, I actually... You know, MLG, like, being in that, I mean, I know I was in top 16 for a little bit. Yeah. But even, like, before any of that happened, it is so stressful, man. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, you know you just have to be ready at every single turn because even, it, you know, I, I unfortunately lost a lot, too, in the, the top 16. But as soon as you're done with the match, you're going straight or you're going straight into preparing your brain, your mentality for the next match. And it's taxing. Like, by right. the end of the day, you are exhausted. You don't want to do anything. And you just rinse and repeat for, you know, three days, four days, whatever it might be. And it can be very, very hard. Very hard. So to just go in there and enjoy it, it's going to be a very, very interesting experience. I Should be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for it. All right. Well, obviously, I'll see you there. I'm going uh, to do some coverage for Complexity Gaming. I but can't wait. Even for me, like, MLG... It's work, man. I know. MLG's a lot of work. Yeah, it <laughs> like, is. I saw, I saw like three full series at the last one because I was uh, just constantly running around. I mean, you don't expect, stuff like to, that. You don't expect to sleep at all, right? Right. It's, well, as, as much as you can get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where, wherever you fall asleep. You're going to bed late. <laughs> you're waking up early mm -hmm. so that you can catch as much as you can. Yep. So even this is like, it's, it's like oh, a vacation. Sure. It's, it's great. It's wonderful. Yeah. But uh, obviously, MLGs are a lot of fun as well. Yes. But, um, okay, so we talked about player Gretor versus caster Gretor a little bit. Talked about the event. Is there anything else you'd like to bring up, or you've got you've got lots of uh, anxious ears here because they love you so much? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> hey, I mean, just uh, please keep supporting NASL. We are doing, um, you know, even more things to further the product of NASL. That is, um, we're we're just always striving to be the best we possibly can. Uh, I said this over and over to everybody here. Uh, we are, I, I want to say that we are the community. Like, Russ, everybody behind the scenes, Duran, me, we were all just a huge enthusiasts of this entire community. Yeah. And that's why we really feel like we are part of the community. We are the community almost. Um, we, we just really want this to work. Mm -hmm. We want to see this in America. We want to see it in the Western scene. And uh, you know what? With your support, it really, really does help. And I hope you guys continue that because, you know, what a great journey we've had so far. Yeah. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? And we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, all my NSL people, you know, everybody that showed up, even all the people that tuned in, um, actually just everybody in the world. <laughs> I really want world peace. And I think StarCraft is a great way. To join everybody together. It's true. It's very international. It is a very international. I mean, I went to lunch or breakfast this morning with Dark Force. Yeah. And uh, I made him, I, I changed his opinion on all Asian Americans. That's, that's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> 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 all right. So NASL, we're going to be wrapping up here soon. Got some great games. Looking forward to Sen versus July. Any prediction on that one? I'm not going to make predictions. No predictions. Of course. Of course. No Red predictions. And Sen our best friends in the entire universe. Well, he was my former teammate. We yeah. were both on Fnatic. Mm -hmm. I love him to death. Uh, but it's July Zerg too, man. It is July Zerg. All right. So how can you how can you side with either of them? We can we can gloss over that one. Exactly. You've got you've got some vested feelings in uh, there. MC like. versus Puma. MC versus MC Puma. MC has the advantage. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a very close match, though. I've heard three Puma predictions already from players. I'm not going to say it's it's. I, I think if I wasn't a caster, mm -hmm. not casting mode, it's player Grey Torp. Player Gretor. MC is going to win three one around there. Okay. Um, just because of MC's mindset, I'm watching him very closely, and I'm seeing how he progresses with each game. Right. Uh, and how he changes his style a little bit. Very, very adaptive. Yes. Like the guy is sick adaptive, uh, and it's very subtle things that you'll notice. One day I'll I'll do a huge analysis <laughs> of it. But very subtle. So unprofessional. So, MC. This guy. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Well. Uh, we thanked everybody, got our predictions out there, and I want to thank you, obviously, thank for you. the wonderful interview. Hope I can do it again at MLG and the next Definitely NASL man. and whenever I can. Anytime. All right. Thanks, everybody.